Hi y'all! Oh gosh. Um, this is my week 38 vlog, I guess. I turned 38 weeks on Monday and today is Thursday, so I'm about 38 and a half. Excuse me, 38 and a half weeks-ish. Um, I just got home from my doctor's appointment. Um, I guess I'll update y'all on how the week's kind of gone at first. Um, I've really started to feel kind of, kind of normal. Um, I stopped having quite as many Braxton Hicks contractions. That or I'm just getting used to them all the time and it doesn't seem that often. I don't really know. But it doesn't seem like I'm having them quite as often. Um, my appetite <laughs> has gone down in the last couple of days, but I think that's mainly in part because a few days ago I made myself really sick. Like, I just totally gorged myself. Like, I had a couple of bowls of cereal for breakfast, then I had some pineapple and some watermelon, and then I had, like, some leftover enchiladas, and then I had a couple of bowls of ice cream, and I had some chips and queso, and I had some, like, chips with ranch dip. It was bad. Like, I felt awful. I didn't eat dinner that night. I had myself so sick. It was embarrassing. I didn't throw up, but yeah. It was like a little kid that had eaten too much candy. It was ridiculous. I felt so dumb. So anyway, since that day, like, I haven't, I mean, I have an appetite and I'll eat, but, um, it's definitely been smaller portions. Um, also, I haven't had as much round ligament pain, but what's weird is I'll get it at night like when I'm in bed, which usually, well normally I would get it then, but I would also have it going on all day, and I haven't noticed it going on all day. Last night, like, <laughs> I think Micah was half, well he was like half asleep, we had gone to bed, and it, I just had this stabbing pain under my belly, and um, Micah was half asleep, and he told me, chill out! Which, that's what he tells the dogs when they're like, when they wake up in the middle of the night and they're like pacing, because he's a really light sleeper and he hears them. So I was like, oh, he's talking to me like he talks to the dogs. But I knew it was just because he was half asleep and yeah, if something had been like really wrong, like I thought I was, or like if I thought I was in labor or something, I'd wake him up and it'd not be a big deal. But, oh, that's him calling. So, uh... So yeah, I had been um, in the bed tossing and turning and groaning because I was having this really, really bad stabbing pain in my underside, or like under my belly kind of. And um, I'm also having, or have had a, a few more of like the stabbing pains like when I'm up walking around quite a bit, or when I'm carrying Connor, that's kind of happened. but. I, to me, like, that's kind of a positive thing. I'm, like, picturing, okay, that's that baby's head trying to get engaged and get lower. Um, I think as far as symptoms and how I'm feeling, that's more or less it. Um, I still haven't, um, like, gotten the nesting thing on, like, wanting to deep clean everything. I need to get a bunch of stuff done tonight for sure, but I just, I... I guess by the time you have a few of them, it's like nothing's ever going to be perfect anyway. And with your first couple of babies, like you want everything a certain way and perfect before they come. And by the time I'm at my fourth one, it's like we have so much organized chaos anyway. Maybe that's why it's not bothering me so bad. But I did get my bag packed and I'm about to do a video on that. Um, as far as my appointment today went, um, it went pretty well. Um, I still weigh pretty much the same thing. Um, blood pressure was good. I did get my membrane sweep done today. Um, she had told me, you know, I'll check and if your cervix is favorable where I can do it, then um, I'll try to get in there and do it. And um, she said he is definitely a little bit lower, um, which all along I think I've been at a minus three and now I'm at a minus two. So it's not like he got a lot lower, but I don't know. She seemed impressed with that progress. I don't know. Um, I was kind of disappointed he wasn't a little bit lower, but oh well. Everything that I've read, and somebody correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm not remembering what I read correctly, but I think with like the, once you've had a few babies, they say that like you, 
you dilate first and then you start to efface, whereas like your first baby, you usually efface before you dilate. So I don't know, maybe that's what it is. Anyway, um, so I'm, I'm not effaced at all, but she did say it's a whole lot softer. So I've been taking evening primrose oil. I've been doing like two capsules at night um, vaginally, and then in the morning I'll take two, like, uh, like swallow two pills. And um, she did say that it was feeling a lot softer and that I was a good two centimeters before she had been telling me that I was a tight two centimeters, which to me probably meant that I was just a little over a centimeter and she was being nice. So she said I was a really good two centimeters. She did the sweep and after the sweep she said that I was a good three centimeters. Um, she, I wouldn't necessarily say that it was painful but it was definitely uncomfortable. Um, it lasted about a minute, which doesn't seem like very long, but it's kind of a little bit of an eternity when somebody's, you know, doing that to you. And um, so anyway, I, I'm glad that I got it done. Um, so it's been probably an hour since I had my appointment and I feel the same. I felt a little bit of a dull pain but I, I like haven't had any contractions. Maybe a few Braxton Hicks, but nothing intense or anything. Um, I don't know. She said that the sweep works in about half of her patients. You know, sometimes it works. Excuse me, sometimes it doesn't. But she's really hoping I go into labor um, because she's on call this weekend. So, you know, today, tomorrow, whenever it would just be great for her, which I would be happy with it too. Okay, sorry, I forgot to do a belly shot. I figure I better do one just in case this is the last belly shot. I have a feeling it's probably not going to be, but just in case. Whew. I've been getting, it's so hot here. I have this under boob sweat. It's so gross. There's the tummy. Craziness. I don't think it looks any lower. I think it looks the same. Maybe bigger, but that's it. But anyway, that's it. Bye, y'all.